Sister Wives fans demand TLC stop the child exploitive shows amid the devastating loss of Sister Wives star, Garrison Brown, fans are calling for TLC to re-examine their policies. Undoubtedly, fans are advocating for more protection of innocent children in their most formative years. Likewise, the fans believe that many of TLC's shows are exploiting children from a young age and should discontinue filming. Fans demand TLC stop exploiting children. On Reddit and a Sister Wives forum, one fan kicked off a topic demanding, no minors on reality TV. This comes amid the horrific loss of Janelle and Cody Brown's son, Garrison Brown, to suicide. Additionally, the user says, without blame or judgment concerning the recent tragedy, I believe there should be a law against minors playing key roles in reality television. I'm thinking of this show, Duggars, Kate Plus 8, Honey Boo Boo, That Dance Moms Show, and others. Certainly the minors would be in the background footage, but no interviews or anything. It seems to never end well. Crying Face. Dot. I agree, the child exploitation is disgusting, TLC is the worst for it. Yeah, but then there wouldn't be a show. Or the adults acting like they do in the Browns case would still F up the kids when everyone sees how dysfunctional their parents are. Slightly frowning face the only answer is no shows about families. Group shot of the Brown family from sister wives at Gwendolyn Brown's wedding. Many of the kids have grown up on camera. Instagram. Sister Wives fans discuss the issue further. After Garrison Brown's passing, one of his friends pushed for the cancellation of the long-running series. While most Sister Wives viewers responded with agreement, they believe it is a tricky issue. But mainly, fans are disturbed by the continual gouging for personal financial gain. For instance, seeing families document childhoods and not giving children space to grow up with privacy, yeah, I agree. There's also a big difference between we're doing a documentary about our alternative lifestyle versus we're going to be filming for years and centering large parts of our lives on this project, too. It's not just the exposure once or twice, it's the constant, repetitive nature of it and the fact that their entire childhoods are documented and exposed. Honestly, I'd apply the same argument to any of those family influencer channels, because at that point, you are making the child part of the family's revenue stream, and that, implicitly or explicitly, puts pressure on them to perform.